Well, hello guys, welcome to episode two of the FM Creator News. I'm the Custard Prophet, and yeah, thanks for, for coming on back. So uh, yeah, as I mentioned before, this is entirely for you guys, so make sure you let me know what sort of things you want to see in the Creator News. I've had comments on the previous ones, sort of suggesting maybe I focus a little bit more on larger creators, so I could certainly in the next episode, for example, go through what a bunch of larger YouTube creators are are up to, for, for those guys who aren't kind of sure what, what each and every one of them are doing. So let me know if you'd be interested in that sort of larger creator review, and uh, I don't quite know what I'd class as a larger creator, uh, I guess over 10,000, something like that. If you'd if you'd enjoy to to see that and at least where I've been watching them, what my thoughts are on on the the various uh, the various uh, series that are going on currently, then yeah, let me know. Drop a, a note down in the comments. Uh, that would be very very helpful. Uh, but today today uh, we are going to be focusing on blogs. Now I know what you're thinking. For for you guys who write blogs and do all that sort of stuff you think oh yeah come on yeah blogs oh yeah yeah for those guys who make youtube videos watch youtube videos you're probably saying oh right finger hovering over the uh, stop button well hold that thought hold that thought what i just just listen to what i have to say for the next four or five minutes because i'm exactly like you i i am a primarily when i when i'm not creating youtube videos i am watching youtube videos I'm not reading blogs, but I think that's kind of unfair on blogs, and I think it's just because kind of YouTube videos is what I do, so I'm not kind of, I'm not tuned in to, to reading blogs. I don't really know an awful lot about them. Back in the day when I first kind of came to the, when I, when I first realized that people were sort of generating FM stories, it was in kind of blog form, uh, not blog form as we know it now. It was kind of in message boards and things like that. And it, now, now you've got sort of blogging sites and all sorts of stuff where it 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 can be sort of much more nicely laid out. But that is what first of all sucked me into the world of FM online and the kind of storytelling aspect because I thought, well, you know, I, in my head I'm sort of telling a story and, I'm, and it's sort of going on, but I'm only telling it really to myself and. It was fascinating coming to the realization that people are kind of telling these stories to other people. And then it was after that, then I sort of was searching for one of these blogs and I happened upon one of Golden FM's videos. Yeah, and the rest's history. And now I'm, uh, you know, an FM, uh, FM creator addict. You cannot get enough of them. Hence, I'm doing something like this where I'm kind of advertising all of them just so I can watch a bunch of them. Uh, and, and call that uh, a sort of good reason for doing it. I'm sure my missus agrees. Yeah, anyway, so yeah, I, I think maybe blogs for a certain type of person get a slightly unfair, an unfair review, really, kind of almost sneered at in that those guys who are YouTubers who don't read blogs think, oh yeah, yeah, it's just a blog. But I thought, well, as someone who, I'm not saying I do that, but as someone who is primarily a YouTuber who watches YouTube videos, I thought, well, I had a bunch of people suggest blog, uh, different blogs that I should be looking at, I should be telling people about, and I thought, well, why not, why not do that in one episode, but kind of do it from the perspective of, you know, a newbie to blogs. And we'll kind of have a little look through them, look at the structure of them, look at the sort of content, all that sort of stuff, and trying to come to some conclusions I suppose at the end whether these are um, beyond, whether these are different to what I thought I haven't actually looked at any of them yet but I thought I'd make this little piece first so I may well be wearing different clothes when I actually look through it but we'll have a look through a bunch of these together and then at the end of the video what I'm going to do is leave a list which you can pause on of different bloggers that were suggested to me and you guys can go out and check them um, at your at your leisure okay hopefully that's convinced you just to stick around for this video you know at the end of it you might go away thinking nah blogs ain't for me but you give it a, you've given it a go so you know that's that's good and uh, I'm sure the guys who are writing these blogs will appreciate um, you yeah, know the opportunity to for you guys to sort of go over and have a look at their stuff that's not really an opportunity that the uh, 
um, well, I'd appreciate it if you would do that sort of stuff. Okay, so let's 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 dive in, and we'll have a look at a few of the blogs that were recommended to me. Cheers. Yeah. So, okay, guys. So this is the post that I put out. It's the second post I put out. So I'm still looking for some more FM related stories for FM Creator News. Uh, blog save streams etc so I was seeing what would would come in now I did get um, some stuff about old lady plays and inverted wing max and we'll certainly be talking to those guys at some point in the future um, and yeah sorry apologies to those guys I've decided to go with blogs for this um, but yeah so we got this um, this stuff down uh, down the bottom here so obviously CJ root was suggested I'm already doing, I've already sort of publicised a bit about him. We'll have a look at his, his stuff in a second, because I think he's doing some really cool stuff. And then um, the the Lutterworth Fox, who, uh, he, yeah, seems a really nice bloke. Uh, um, yeah, he he, re he recommended a bunch of people, and an FM stag got involved. He's also a, um, a, a blogger as well. And then I got a bunch of DMs as well. So... There were a bunch of things that were recommended to me, all bloggers. So I wanted to basically have a little look at some of these blogs. And I'll sort of, I've just kind of opened them up. You can sort of see them along the top here, and we'll have a little look through them and what they're all about and that sort of stuff. Apologies, I'm not going to do it for every single one of these guys, but I think from a a blogging newbie, I think this will be. I'll at least, I'll at least be able to sort of put it in from my perspective and hopefully that is a useful thing for for, for you guys uh, hopefully my fat head doesn't get in the way too much I've tried to make myself fairly small but at least so you can still see me because I, I mean that's clearly why you watch the creator news isn't it so we're going to start up here uh, we've got what's we got one two three four five six of these blogs that I've just kind of loaded up uh, and one of the DMs that came in was from these guys uh, from the cheap seats. It was from from the cheap seats, if that makes any sense. Where legends are born. This is an interesting one in itself. Um, so I have had a little kind of little peek peek peekaboo at all of these just to make sure I kind of have a have a clue what what, what I'm going to be saying vaguely. So. Let's, let's have a little look. So this is their about section. So like it says on the tin, this blog was born out of a passion for the beautiful game and the brilliant football manager series. I think we can all get behind that sentiment. The blog, blog is dedicated to the stories we love to read, enthusiastically discussing some aspect of real life football. The more niche, the better. Love a bit of niche me. It's also dedicated to the stories we tell ourselves about the FM saves. I mean, that's what we all do, isn't it? The rivalries we build with opposing clubs and managers, the love we have for an obscure club in Scandinavia, it's like they've been watching me. Are they watching me? They might well be. The joy we felt when a regen we nurtured won his first cap. Yeah, when it's Gibraltar, it's not all that impressive. But, you know, I can, I can get on board with that. And the pain for us when, when he left for the riches of PSG, the ungrateful slap nut. Nice. Nice. <laughs> An insult that doesn't get thrown around too often. So, the blog was conceived by a number of like-minded individuals who originally met on the... Um, I've already forgotten. From... Is that F FMCU? Anyone? No idea. Football manager? No, don't know. Uh, forum. Bonding through... I don't have no idea. I was trying to think, would it be sports interact? Bonding through the ups and downs of their saves. One thing led to another, and here they are. Looks like you've got some children. Looks looking to share our passion for FM with other like minded individuals. Well, to be fair, that's what we are all trying to do. It's just the medium that we're doing it in. So that's that's fantastic. So actually it's a team of of bloggers, which I think is a really cool way of doing it, actually. So you're not just kind of uh, it's not yourself. You you can't because I, I guess that could be a problem if you're trying to create content all the time as a blogger. I mean, it's it's got to be a bit more tricky. I don't know. I can bang out a video quite quickly, but I imagine you actually have to think about the process of blogging. I d <laughs> let me know. I've never tried it. Um, so yeah, they got uh, Seattle Red, who's been doing a, a fair bit of stuff. Ori or Orioli, no idea. Uh, who is that part of a nipple? No, that's something else, isn't it? Box to box and 
Benjo, who probably are two people, like cat dog. But I think that's a really nice idea. So let's have a little look at the um, what they've what they've been up to. Is this the yeah? So this is the nearly man. So this is Seattle Reds FM twenty save where he chronicles of the exploits of the Danish Dutch man manager Nikolaj Zbur. In his attempt to bring a redemption for the nearly men of Europe. That, what was that accent? Good God. I, I've, we're not doing that again. Um, and if you can't get enough, The Ballad of Toothless Bob is a series conceived and co-authored by the Seattle Red and Oriole. It's a companion to the nearly men. Exploring the world. Oh, that is so cool. That is so cool. The world of him. I love that idea. I really love that idea because it's not... We kind of try and do that on YouTube, but it's really hard to do it. It's really very hard. I did it in Gibraltar, in the in the uh, the Gibraltar save, trying to sort of create all this kind of weird stuff that was going on with Sean Death. But you're just kind of saying random stuff, whereas here you, you're going to create a narrative in people's minds, which I think is really quite cool. Yeah, yeah, liking that, liking that a lot. Um, <laughs> what is what is Project Arcturus? What lies behind the twisted redstone door deep in the bowels of the Santiago Bernabal? Nice. But I don't know what accent that was either. I mean, it was somewhere between Arnold Schwarzenegger and not Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, I think that's really quite cool. So let's just have a little look at the style. We'll pick a random one. The, uh, the like, in, like in the artwork... I can see where that's been stolen from. So, I can just see the word dick man there. So it looks like you have a little bit of a, a sort of a preamble. Sort of a little bit of a, I don't know, a little bit of storytelling. And then it kind of goes into the, into the meat of what's actually been happening. I don't know whether that's what people do. And then, then you've got a bunch of pictures to kind of sort of... Um, I don't know, improve the sort of... I don't know, what am I trying to say? Not, I was going to say transparency of the story, but that's not what I want. You know, a picture tells a thousand words. There you go. So you've got, you know, 9,000 words there, just sitting there, just lying there on the floor. So just just, just want to click on this, because I, I love this idea. Oh, it's, I mean, it's, I don't know if they're going to do loads of this, but the Ballad of Toothless Bob is only one... Roxanne Nice. What what are we Oh it's some, some like little storyline. I I don't do do we do we read through a little bit of this? Do we? Do we? I, I, I mean I don't know why I'm asking you. This is gonna last forever if I do that. No, you go and read it yourself. I, I really want to do it, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to. Don't make me. Don't make me. Right, on to the next one. We're going to the Lutterworth Fox. I'm sure this will be much more sensible. So yeah, the Lutterworth Fox, um, or Steve Robbins is his uh, sort of name, where he, so the Lutterworth Fox is where he takes off his glasses, he throws them into the fire, and then he puts his cape on. That's when he becomes the Lutterworth Fox. I don't know where Lutterworth is, what, what that refers to. I'm not going to even can pretend I know. Um, so, looks like he's got an FM20 save with uh, FK Haugesund. So, what's he up to? So, okay, so it looks actually a very similar sort of setup. You sort of introduce, I mean, when we do YouTube videos, you do a sort of little, uh, you know, a little look around the club. And it looks like that's what he's doing. So, he's, he's got a little look around the club. So, welcome to Hagesund. It's on the west coast of Norway. That's not a. No I'm really struggling with my accents today. Sorry, guys. I'm normally a lot. Better. These these are accents I'm not good at, though. So you know that's that's a thing. Um, Hagesund is a coastal town in the southwest of Norway. It has a population of just over thirty-seven thousand people, and it is the twenty-third largest town in Norway. The town grew around its fishing industry and mainly herring. It was good to know. But in recent years, it's turned more to petroleum, like many Norwegian towns. Right. I like that. I like I like the idea of... Re it's kind of what I've been doing in my, um, in my new 
journeyman save, really trying to get to know the club and the area, and it's helped because the club that I've started in, they're basically telling me everything, sending me loads of stuff. I, I doubt it will be as easy when I move to a different club, but um, when you've got a club that does that, why the hell not? So I, I really like that. It sort of gives you a really detailed idea of what's going on, who, who the sort of icons are, finances, all the things we talk about are here, basically. And you can make your own decisions on what is good and what is bad, as we do. Club vision, dear God, work within the budget. We hate that one. <laughs> just No, I want to go outside the budget. Oh, dear. Yeah, so, I mean, I like, I like the setup. It sort of very feels very much like a YouTube video. I don't know what you guys think. So what happens when you you go out of that? Uh, okay, so it looks like... He, uh, and actually, I know this because I looked at some of his other stuff. It looks like the way he does it is he kind of goes on to sort of season review, so review of each season. I don't know whether that's a common way of doing it in um, a common way of sort of doing blogs. Uh, you just kind of go into a season review, go through the transfers staff and then what happened in each of the competitions so the Europa League, the Norwegian Cup uh, was that a final? semi-final? 2-0 why did they do in the final? oh they won, won against Rosenberg in the final nice well they actually dominated, well no, not quite but very nice they finished, uh, finished fifth in the league, not bad behind all brand it's always good to have an odds. They were odds on to win, weren't they? <laughs> yeah, you'd think Vikings would do better. Anyway, yeah, so that's kind of nice. I like the I like the idea behind that. It was, it kind of feels very much like a YouTube video, just on paper. Or not? This isn't paper, is it? Where are we going next? Uh, CJ Root. Uh, so someone I've been pushing for quite a long time. So he has done. Uh, he did a hashtag United save for FM19, and now he's doing a uh, save with Billericay Town. I should highlight what he's doing. Uh, so he is raising money for these two wonderful things, Prostate Cancer UK and Autism Anglia, using Billericay Town and his save as a way to kind of do that so let's let's go into his football manager career and this is this is the way that he's kind of doing it as far as I can tell he's kind of he's doing it in the style of these kind of newsletters these short newsletters which I think is really quite cool now so he's doing it as a monthly is it monthly no January November that's not not monthly a couple of bi-monthly no that would be twice a week twice a month wouldn't it whatever the you know every two months newsletter so bringing Jamie O'Hara who, who actually follows him on Twitter which is quite quite impressive um, I like I like this it's got a it's got kind of a nice a nice feel to it and it's it'll be dead easy to it's not going to take much time out of your day to keep on top of this save is it you just you know the these kind of newsletters come out every how often is he uploading these does it say doesn't say it's i don't think it's that often i really don't think it's that often so it's something like this you can kind of come into pick up put down all that sort of stuff fairly quickly um and keep on top of the only thing i worry about this is because there's quite a, a lot of these guys seem to be doing you know fairly big gaps between you know the so a whole season or, or a, a reasonable chunk of a season which you don't really do on a youtube video you or well, some people do but you know your videos are coming out quite one after the other quite uh, you know maybe three four five videos a week now I don't think that happens with blogs as far as I can tell and maybe that's maybe I'm going to be proved wrong in a second but I think people I think bloggers tend to be putting them out less frequently and I wonder whether you kind of forget what's going on let me know in the comments what you think um, I'm, I'm, I'm fascinated with all this I really am I don't know how long I've been nattering on for no, not too long 15 minutes well we can live with that so we're going to uh into our fourth one the fm fm newbie 
which is oh, look at this, this is a really nice setup so i clicked in this he doesn't seem to have started anything with his fm20 plans but it looks like he do, he's done a hexagon challenge if you if you've not seen no it's the pentagon challenge isn't it that bobby g's doing go and watch that it's absolutely superb so he's doing again it's sort of season reviews uh goes through the transfers which is kind of nice sort of talking about them in some some detail um which is which is kind of nice um and then and this is a very similar structure to what we've seen before so it goes through the transfers goes through the sort of the, the different competitions how things have gone it's a fairly easy structure to follow the word bugger fantastic just sitting there on its own why is that bugger division ping don't know explain that explain the bugger no not literally all right just hoping to avoid japanese south korean or australian sides so uh you've got japanese and a south korean by the look of it is that an australian i don't know ball ball rat city nice nice okay so this looks very very similar in terms of structure to what we've seen before so i wonder whether this is kind of, kind of it kind of mirrors a youtube video but you know not quite okay so we're going on to uh michelinio fm who has got a difficult name to say so he is doing what appears to be a manchester united save let's have a little look does it have a yeah here we go uh, it's a, let's have a look what they what he's up to so a little read here let me read his, his writing style what, what what voice shall we do what voice do we shall we do for this this here man i, I, was, I was going to go irish but i think that might be inappropriate i i don't know right we'll go brummy hello and welcome yes i'm talking to you don't be afraid come in come in i'm not asking a lot all I ask is that you muster enough imagination to put yourself in an alternative reality. A parallel universe, if you like. And even though it stretches the constraints of reality a little bit, it holds a story, a storyline not too far-fetched at all. If this was a movie depiction of reality, there would certainly be a, a degree, a certain amount of artistic freedom, and even brand new scenes you've never seen before. You will soon understand why we call this series The Dor Director's Cut. A suitable title in more ways than more than one way. Very nice. I like his writing style. So, what's the premise? I, I yeah. <laughs> Basically, Roy King. Roy King comes in, but there's a load of stuff that comes before. I mean, I would love to kind of just kind of read it to you, but you know, I'm leaving that to you guys. Leaving it to you guys to to enjoy. I love the idea of bringing Roy Keane in anywhere. I mean, he's just the most frightening man in the world, surely. So let's have a little look what what it looks like in terms of a an actual game bit. I don't know if we've got there yet. Oh, okay. So it hasn't actually... So the full game is released. And there's been a vote on who to keep and who to sell. Cool. And so they go through all of that. And so that's happened. So it doesn't look like he's actually kind of got going properly. Um, when was that uploaded? Two weeks, two days ago. So it looks like it's it's going to happen fairly soon. The first kind of I don't know whether he's going to go through a full season or what. But I love the idea. Very very exciting. Um, yeah, I'm I'm feeling some of these things. I really am. Let me let me know in the comments. So is is this kind of building up some love? Have you, have you considered blogs before i'm i'd be really fascinated to see whether this is the most boring right we go, yeah whether this is the most boring sort of half an hour of your life you've ever seen or whether it's something a little bit different um so this is the armchair gaffer i think um whether yeah the armchair gaffer so he's been doing this for quite some time so in fm20 He is. What's he doing? He's 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 come to Pro Vercelli, which 
sounds Italian. I have to say, I know nothing about this. Or is it Liga Pro? That be Spanish. Let's uh, let's have a little read. As far as I can remember, I never. Oh dear me! No, I can't hear. I've got my cold. It's stopping all my voices. It's, that's that's the reason. As far as I remember, I know I can't. <laughs> <coughs> I can't do it. As far as I remember, I never started a football manager save with its beta version. Mainly because I always look for the more stable version of the match engine before setting up a proper game, just to avoid breaking game-breaking bugs. And we've had a few of those, to be fair. After many years, I realised that things simply don't exist a bit late. No, I, I don't understand that sentence. The match engine is... We read on to understand it. The match engine is always evolving. Something for the better. Something for the worse. I realise that said sometimes. Every year it has got peculiar bugs and strong points. Waiting for the holy grail is probably pointless. Having said that, I decided to start my career with Pro Vercelli to see how the journey unfolds. So. I... St- Still not entirely sure where this place is. Two million per season. That's mad. I still don't know what country we're in. Tell me. Tell me. I want to know. So this guy... Is kind of... I don't know. Putting it... Mixing screenshots and... um, bits and pieces looks like fairly sort of short bits and pieces let's have a look at some, maybe some of his work from i love in the artwork on this i think it's absolutely brilliant let's have a look at this the pro the prodigal son oh I, I i don't want to i don't want to sign up <laughs> bugger off i'm only here to promote these people right oh look at this Look at the lovely graphics on this. I'm not a big fan of the lettering, but I like the pitch. It looks kind of like a jigsaw. Slightly, slightly funny. But okay, so okay, it's Italy. It is Italy. Pro Vercelli. I presume that's how you say it. So it's just kind of a, again and just kind of a review. Okay, so this seems to be the common feature that that rather than doing sort of short little bits, which is kind of what uh, CJ Root seemed to be doing, at least kind of shortish. The main crop of people seem to be doing sort of season reviews. So they'll do it, play a season, and then they'll kind of review it. Uh, so you're never actually... I mean, they, the blogs themselves are fairly lengthy, but you get a lot of information. They put a lot of, they put a lot of effort into it. Um, I mean, it's all... I guess with this, you are going to get an awful lot more thought into the planning of what is actually going to look like. I know with my YouTube videos, I don't have that much planning. <laughs> I, I, you know, it may look like I have lots and lots of planning. I mean, they thank you very much for that that vote of confidence, but actually, I don't have it planned to this sort of level. And you really can do that with, with writing quite well. I probably should do. And maybe that would make my episodes a lot better, but it would take a lot longer to make them, and I just don't have the time. So I think this way of doing it is is good. The the problem I have with it, and the worry I have, I think I've been certainly, my eyes have been open to all of this. Um, I didn't quite know what, what to expect, and I did, to be, to be fair, I had a little look, but I kind of really experienced it with you guys for the first time. Um... I mean, it's it's a sort of different way of doing the same thing. So I, I think you could easily read a couple of blogs alongside watching a bun- bunch of Football Manager videos without, you know, without sort of difficulty. I mean, I don't know how well... When it, I, I mean, it's the same, isn't it? How, how well you keep up with series. If you're watching three or four different series, whether they all kind of jumble up into one another or, or not, I, I don't know. With... YouTube videos it doesn't tend to happen like that because it's a different person speaking to you but with written word does it work like that I know it's a different person writing to you but the voice they, you know you can't hear their voice but maybe the way they write 
brings it across in a different way. I, I don't know. I don't know, guys. Let me know. Let me know your thoughts on all of this. I've been fascinated with with reading it and fascinated with um, you know what's out there. As I said, I'm going to leave a, a list or at the end of this video just to kind of of, of all the sort of um, FM. FM creators who who are blogging that I was told about. I'm not going out to find every one of them. Uh, I just no, I'm not doing that. Um, but just the ones that I was told about, and you guys can go and check them out. And uh, yeah, let me know down below whether you enjoyed this, whether you thought this was a waste of time, and uh, whether you want to see more things like this. Uh, that that would be yeah great. Let me know what you want on the FM Creator News. This is kind of just one thing but you know we could be we could be talking about all sorts of random stuff um yeah okay guys well i will see you in a couple of weeks time but uh, till then goodbye no apologies about the cold goodbye